All right, this is my tutorial on how to make an Utahu, an Utahu synth. Um, to do this tutorial, you'll need a vocal recording program such as Audacity. You will also need Utahu synth. There is a nice tutorial by Yosoi Edo. I'm going to put a link in the description for both items. Um, and also, you'll need a list of hiragana, like I have found here on the Wikipedia page for hiragana. Um, these are all the sounds that you will need to do a basic utau. So, first things first, you'll need to record your sounds. Ah, ka. Just a couple sounds for me. Of course, you're going to record a whole entire voice bank, so I'm going to amplify this. Whenever you record, you want your voice even. Um, try to record every single sound to about the same amount. Also, want to have it the same tone. Try not to make your voice waver. Export selection as a WAV. Um, I'm going to make a new folder for this. Voices. All right. I'm going to save this as a. Uh, save this one. As ka. I don't need this anymore. Now I'm going to go to my folder. You will need to duplicate this folder. You can use the shortcut command D. Or you can right click it. And duplicate. Take the duplicate. Either right click and get info, or you can use Command I. You can rename it two things. You can name it dot utau or dot utau voice. I'm going to use dot utau for this one. Now then, double click it, and it will open it in utau synth. We need to go to this link thing right here. No, nope, it's this one. Click it. It'll open this. You can also get to this menu by using the shortcut Command-G. We'll need to click on this here, and it will open all the files within this folder. Click OK. I've only got these two. But that's all I really need for this tutorial. Move over the fixed sound and the pre utterance and the overlap. And then move it all over and you'll get the blank sound right here. I'll just have this much. And then this is the blank down here. Let's see how that sounds. A little bit loud. Alright, um, if you want to make your computer um, work in Japanese, you need to go to the Apple icon, click, go down to System Preferences, Languages and Text, go to Input, and then select this right here. And make sure that Hiragana is selected. You don't need anything else, but you can if you want to. Go up here to the flag, or whatever you happen to have. Click. Select Hiragana. Double click an alias. And type. Alright, now we need to go to Ka. Double click. Um, move it over.
for sounds that have consonants like this one we don't really need the whole entire consonant sound so you can cut it about in half almost let's see how this one sounds I need a little bit more of it so alright If you uh, want to have extra aliases so that people who do it in English to for like extra ways for them to do it, they can click this button here to add or duplicate. Hmm. I've never seen that disappear before. Uh, anyway. <laughs> And we can add another alias name to it, such as Aw, and Ka. Just a little bit of an extra thing that you can do. Um, after you do the, all these otos for all of your sounds, you will need to click this icon here. This is the save button. Click it often. Let's see the sounds, how it sounds. Let's just do two notes here. That one's working. Um, I'll show you some extra things you can do with things. Uh, click up here. Click this to create or export a WAV file. If you click this one here, you can open MIDI files, like this Lilium one I have. This one's the sound. You'll be able to see here. See? And it's stuck. <laughs> Oops. something else. You can add a vibrato by right clicking on a note. Clicking this bottom thing right here. See? If you right click it again, you can get another option which allows you to edit it. Like you can make it bigger, make it smaller, you can change the peaks and stuff like that. Change where it's really compressed and where it isn't. how it's spread let's check out how this sounds um, if you click here and click this this is where you can write in your flags such as G plus 20. That's the gender flag. And um, you can also get to that menu by pressing command P. To add the character description to your Uto, you need to right click your file, 
go to show package contents and then you can add a text file that describes your character like this one I actually edited this one on accident <laughs> before but it's alright um, like you can put name equals and then your Uto name and then image equals and then an image link and then author is yourself and the website can be whatever mine's my YouTube page and then sample can be a sample WAV file that you created for your Uto such as maybe a song or um, a simple thing where it says, Hello, my name is such and such. Um, anything else I can think of? Well, hmm. Uh, if you can click command and then an arrow key, you can switch what one's highlighted. I'm not sure how that would help you, somebody, but it's a way to do something. Um, nope, that doesn't do anything. I'm trying to remember, is there a shortcut key to move things up and down? think there is. Well, this has been my tutorial for making an Utau and Utau synth. Uh, I hope this helped you out. Um, thanks for watching.